What's going on, people? Hope you're doing fine. Because today we have something special. Kind of. It's a, it's a game changing thing. And um, yeah, you probably figured it out already in my bag. So let's get straight into it, okay? As always, let's start with something abnormal like a bow and a tree. Because why not? I mean, yeah, now we have bows in game. And bows and cows, like males and females. Man, to be honest, this is impressive. He's really massive, like a bull. And he stares at me, <laughs> watches every move I make. Nice. Anyway, now let's start with something new. I need a basket. Wait. I didn't mean to do that. But hey, you never know when you need 15 baskets, right? It works anyway, so... Oddly enough, it says flower basket, but I can't put any flowers within it. And I tried it though. Hmm. Anyway, the reason I needed these baskets for was to yield the crops from previous episode. Which, by the way, you can check it in the upper right corner when you're done with this episode. Alright, so this is how much I've yielded from this, uh, from this diamond. Wait. What are you doing my crops? Get out! Okay, now the diamond yield. And by the way, she's safe. She's over there. I just got out of here. I just need to work safe without cows interfering. Okay, now the diamond's done. Oh, I forgot a patch over there. Doesn't matter. I have only this diamond left. And that'll be all with the harvesting. Alright, now let's see how much we harvested from this farm. We have this. A lot of stacks of 64. And this is even more. More stacks of 64. Okay, that's nice. Well, this farm is going pretty well, I should say. I mean, those are our crops for just a few days of waiting. And um, yeah, now I have a lot of food to sustain myself for, for, for some time. And wait, now it hit me. I just realized I don't have livestock. Okay, now I know what I'm going to do this episode. All right, so for unknown reasons, it started raining. Pretty bad, but... I managed to find this flower forest and I can say we have we have a lot of flowers around and by the way this is a kiwi and tell me this isn't the cutest thing that you've seen this is just a little ball of feathers nothing more oh, that's cute okay I managed to find more wait what you doing stop <sighs> he ain't gonna stop spinning I think I think he's startled from from the rain but guess what I found more flowers to get. Man, just look what I found. I think those are tulips. Yeah, there are. Uh, they are a beaut. There are a beaut. Okay, so I was wandering around and look what I found. I found this mole, which seems dead, but he ain't dead. He's just playing dead. That's the fence mechanism. And also a turkey, which I don't know if I can. Can I take it? Yeah, I can take it. Unfortunately, I don't think I can I can get something out of it. It's just aesthetically from the from the mods. Hold on a second. I found sheep. Wait, wait. Are these sheep or goats? I can't tell. Look, she's sleeping. Nice. But wait, are these sheep or goats? I don't know what what they are. Wait. That wasn't there before. Thunder, you, you bad manticore. Why did you kill one sheep or goat? Bad boy. And look what I found. A peacock. And he's very colorful. And wait. That's a peafowl. I think these are from the, from the exotic birds mod. Because they're different. Anyway, moving on. Hold on a second. I just spotted something up here. No way. That's a lion. That's an actual lion. Look, they're kind of similar. I mean, kind of. Mine is more cooler than that. But anyway. It's, is he passive? Or... Oh, now he's aggressive. Now he's aggressive. And wait, he's, his weight's is low. And he does way too little damage. One heart of damage from one lion. He should, he should rip your head off, man. Hmm. 
Oh, now he's coming. Oh, now he's coming. Now he's coming faster. Okay. Uh, it's cool. It's cool, but... Mm, I don't think there's a lion this around. They usually spawn in pairs, but I guess he's a solo one, so... Moving on. Man, with all these many animals that I found, I think I'm gonna start a zoo at some point. And, um... Yeah, I found deer at this location, and I'm gonna mark this spot, just to know where to come and take me. Uh, oh look, that's a little piggy. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, by the way, do you remember those goat sheep? I don't know what they were at the time. Uh, yeah, sorry for this. They were actually sheep, by the way. <laughs> so, quick reenactment. Okay, so, I took my manticore back to the location where the sheep were, I left them in the air, and flew them the entire way back home where I landed them safely in water, not to take fall damage. Done. Yeah, so all the struggle was for these three little fellas right here. Look at them. Oh, I have a squid too. Okay, so now we have sheep, we have cows, lots of bulls, and um, from what I know the mechanics from animals, now they require water to be healthy. Okay, another brilliant idea that I had. Uh, I just want to take this location, that side, and transform it into a cow pen. And also, it has some roosters. I just found some roosters and some chickens. But I don't want to deal with them now. I just want to make the cow pen. And afterwards, I'm going to put all the, the livestock inside of it. So, yeah, let's go level this up. Take our magical bag and put some cobblestone in. Then I feel like making it from cherry wood. That'll look nice. And some spruce. This will be for the extra sticks and fences that I'll need to make. And also fence gates. So, yep. Just like that. Now, let's start.
So the construction's out, I just brought some friends to the party. And let's get you inside now. Jesus God, they keep getting stuck in the fence. Come on already. Thank you. Oh, by the way, Mojang, I need some leads. How can I get them? Hmm, I cannot in vanilla Minecraft without slime. But guess what? We have this over here. Kaboom. Like this. Made out of leather and string. Guess what? The same thing as in real life. Leaving the beef aside. That was a that was a low a low joke. I'm sorry. But the the cow pan turned out to be quite huge and I think I'm gonna make a building inside like a barn for for cows and I'll see maybe in the next episode who knows at the ground level seems okay it's very spacious and it's eco friendly the cows are happy outside grazing some uh, some grass yeah it looks perfect oh sorry Oh, fast, fast, fast. Take that, put that. Let's go and take another bucket of water. Okay, we're done here. I just saw a cow that died out of the blue without me uh, farming her. So I actually forgot that now animals require water to be able to survive. So uh, I need to put buckets of water like this around the pan just for them to survive, so. I guess this will be... There are too many cows in one spot. This will be a larger hole. Like that. It didn't fill up. Jesus. Okay, now we're done. And I think... I, look, see? That little guy was thirsty. And another one. This is what happens with animals um, when, they're, when they're thirsty. And if you don't give them water... Uh, they'll die. So, we need to keep this in mind. Quick thing. Uh, some that I enjoy so far, and it's it's pretty nice to have this in game. Uh, in the upper left corner, we have something new that affects the seasons in game. And kind of lets me, lets me manipulate time like in real life. This means time can now pass like a whole day in game like it is in real life and that's that's crazy that blew my mind and you can benefit from this i mean if you if you are a winter person or a summer person you can you can prolong those those months as you like and it will take much more in game that's that's pretty sweet to be honest and i like doing that I really like doing that. I'm looking forward for a mod that changes the hunger. Wait, trespasser. All right, so another thing that I said I'm gonna do in this video was an apiary. So we need to clear this area of trees. Oh, this is a big one. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is gonna be satisfying. Jesus. <laughs> I think those were three or four trees. Now, this really is the perfect spot for this. And let's put this down here. Oh, it looks nice. It looks like, like an apiary. Okay. Let's take all the flowers that we need. Like that. And I'm going to use them all. I'm going to make a multi-flower kind of thing it already looks very colorful and I still have a lot of flowers to put down so yeah this is very nice I really hate pink
Wow, this looks like I'm in a field of flowers and looks nice. It looks very colorful. A lot of colors. Now, what I need to do for this to be effective, I'll need to go underneath the apiary and put some hoppers and some chests for the bee grubs and beeswax. We're underneath the apiary now and let's put the hopper, the bottom chest, the second hopper, and the upper chest. Wait, now we're done. And it works properly, so now we have an apiary. Hmm, look over here. I wanted another view, so here you go. We're done with this apiary finally. Alright people, so we are done here today. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, smash the subscribe button, the bell, and we'll see each other in the next one. Bye bye.